Hey everybody, it's Ross. I'm excited about life as I always am and I ran into a another minister in the ministry. He has his own ministry and we were talking about certain challenges about being a minister and all the things that ministers go through that most people don't see and that's okay because the issues that ministers face, whether you're a founder like me at Ready to Go Ministries or a pastor or an evangelist, whatever the case may be, a minister goes through many challenges and it's important, we were discussing some of those challenges, what was important as far as being a minister. And it reminded me of a, a very, a very interesting prayer in the Valley of Visions. I'm a big fan of the Valley of Visions. It's an old Puritan prayer manual. It helps me a lot of times get jump started in my prayer life. You may need that as well. And I suggest you go to the Valley of Visions. It's a very, very good way to start. And who doesn't need to improve their prayer life, right? So we were talking about certain things and they had a, a prayer in here it says about ministers evils 336 ministers are certainly just because you're in ministry does not make you immune to the challenges of being a Christian and all the challenges and potholes and and all the trials we go through just like everybody else so I wanted to give him some encouragement because at this time of conversation with this person he needed some encouragement and I got to a, 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 a prayer to impure in the Valley of Visions and I shared it with him and this is how it reads. It's called A Minister's Evil. For evils attend my ministry, the devil treads me down by discouragement and shame, arising from coldness and private meditation. Carelessness possesses me from natural dullness and dimness of spirit because in the past I have met with success and been highly regarded. And so it does not matter if I have now failed. Infirmities and weaknesses are mine from want of spiritual light, life, and power so that souls have not been helped and I have not felt thee to be near at those times. Lack of success has followed even when I have done my best. But thou hast shown me that the glory of everything that is sanctified to be good is not seen in itself, but in the source of its sanctification. Thus my end in preaching is to know Christ and impart his truth. My principle in preaching is Christ himself whom I trust. For in him, fullness of spirit and strength, my comfort in preaching is to do all for him. Help me in my work to grow more humble, to pick something out of all providences to that end, to joy in thee and loathe myself, to keep my life being soul and body only for thee to carry my heart to thee in love and delight to see all my grace in thee coming from thee to walk with thee in endearment then whether i succeed or fail not matters but thee alone that's an awesome prayer for a minister This having struggles with ministry or maybe even struggles with their own spiritual life is that this prayer says, I want to know Christ better and hopefully I can stay humble in the successes and understand that they're going to be failures. But if you stay humble before God and you know where your strength comes from, you can certainly minister to other people and have a successful ministry whether you think it's successful or not. Just do the work of God and stay humble. This is a great prayer for ministers. It's called a minister's evil. Well, that says it all. So hopefully if you're a minister or in ministry, this has helped you in some way. 
And if you're a Christian, the Bible says you are a minister. You're a minister of reconciliation. To you sharing the gospel, the good news of Christ to those who don't know Christ. And for those who already know Christ, to help them know Christ better. Hopefully this helps you. It's a great, great book called The Valley of Visions. I recommend it highly. If you want to get involved in local missions, make sure you look us up. We have a refreshed website, rtgm.org. We have two Facebook pages, organizations, lots of videos and albums, so you can get an idea of what we do here locally in Atlanta. And we have a group page as well. So remember my motto, do what you can, where you can, when you can, the best you can, but do something. You'd be glad you did. Till next time, hope to see you down the road. Take care.